uh, go to the settings, scroll down, click on about devices, and then you have to tap build number, I think, seven times. After you do that, uh, you should see developer options. Press on it, and then enab enable OEM unlocking. Hello guys, this is Techno Genuine, and today I'm going to show you how to root your J2 device, specifically SMJ200G, SMJ200G U, and SMJ200BT. So first off, I have got tons of requests about these particular devices, and most of them are saying that my previous video, which is going to come out now, so uh, yeah, it's right over there. Anyways, most of you guys said that you guys got stuck into the logo, like the boot loop screen. And uh, it shows a message of recovery or kernel is not C Android enforcing and such. But now I have found the solution and you can finally root your device. But before that, make sure that to back up your device with the smart switch. And then downgrade to your SMJ200 GU, G, and BT. Why? Because the newer ROM tends to prevent users from rooting their device due to new security policies and such. So first off, what you have to do is, is to go to this website, the link is going to be on the description below, and then check if your device yeah, check your model number. So if your model number is SMJ200GU, <coughs> then what you have to do is is to pick any of these stock ROM, excluding these two, actually these three ones, because these are the careers one, which is locks, and it may not be used for other devices. So pick one of these three, and it doesn't matter which region the phone is from because it's not gonna affect your phone in any way anyways once you download the sock ROM it's gonna take well about three minutes or so depending on your uh, internet speed first off what you have to do is, is to download all of the files under the description below because we're gonna test two methods on your device if first method doesn't work on your device then you can try another method but first make sure that you downgrade your phone so once you download your sock ROM, what you have to do is, is to extract your ODIN and then what you have to do is, is to launch this app and then press AP and locate your sock ROM and it should look like this. To get that blue bar, what you have to do is, is to go to download mode. Now what you need to do is, is to shut down your phone. So, power it off and click that button. Now what you have to do is, is to press down the volume button, home button and power button simultaneously until you see blue screen. Now what you have to do is, is to press the volume up button. And now you should plug in your device to the computer. And I'm gonna show you the next step. Now hit the start button and wait for a couple of seconds. If it takes more than five minutes, then you should probably wipe out your data by going to the recovery mode. After you have downgraded your device, now what you have to do is, is open the Odin again. And then what you have to do now is press AP go locate your turub file make sure that the turub is 2.8.7 if this method doesn't work then you can go back to this uh, procedure and flash it with the latest turub if this doesn't work now what you have to do is is to go to the download mode again and then you should see the blue bar hit the start button 
to flash the turret. Once you have flashed turret on your J2 device, now what you have to do is, is to go to your download folder and drag these two files which is Super SU 2.68 as well as Super SU 2.78 on your device. First off, what you have to do is, is to shut down your phone simply by pressing the power off button then press her off. And then what you gotta do is, is to hold down the volume up button, home button and power button simultaneously until you see the logo. Then release the power button. Now you should see the turret. To access the turret, slide the bar across. Press the install button. Now locate your Super SU file which you have dragged in your phone. Double click on the Super SU and you should see the screen. Simply swipe down the bar across to root your device. Now your phone should be rooted. If not, then no worries. Just go back to the tour again, locate your another Super SU 2.78 and root that and it should work. Anyways guys, I hope your device is finally rooted, and thanks for being patient for so long, and I'm really sorry about it. But anyways, thanks again, leave a thumbs up if it works, and subscribe if you haven't so, and see you guys in the next video.